I'm currently in Bacnotan, La Union, where my favorite nephew runs a very nice hostel called Hillside Hostel. You can check out their website at the link provided. This laid-back coastal town is famous for its surfing spots, but it's also offering many other natural and cultural attractions, such as pottery making, grape picking, blue weaving, historical churches, waterfalls, and eco-tours. During my three-day, two-night stay, I've been reflecting on the different generations in our recent history and how fortunate for some of us who can still interact with some of them. From my 92-year-old mother to my 5-year-old granddaughter, I would like to discuss more about this generation and their impact on us. It is important to note that it is not accurate or fair to generalize or stereotype all members of a generation as having certain positive or negative characteristics. Everyone is unique and should be evaluated based on their actions and characteristics, not on their age or generation. People are not defined by their age or generation, and it is not productive to make assumptions or judgments about a group of people based on stereotypes. However, some perceptions of different generations and their characteristics are first generation, the greatest generation, also known as the GI generation, is often characterized as hardworking, patriotic, and selfless. They are seen as having strong moral values and a sense of duty to their country. On the negative side, they may be seen as less open to change and innovation. The silent generation, also known as the lucky few, is often characterized as responsible, loyal, and dependable. They are seen as more reserved and traditional in their values and beliefs. On the negative side, they may be seen as less adaptable to change and less vocal in expressing their opinions. Baby boomers are often characterized as optimistic, idealistic, and competitive. They are seen as driven and ambitious with a strong sense of self. On the negative side, they may be seen as less open to new ideas and less willing to collaborate with others. Generation X, also known as the baby busters, is often characterized as independent, resourceful, and pragmatic. They are seen as more skeptical and less trusting of institutions. On the negative side, they may be seen as less loyal to organizations and more inclined to job hop. Millennials, also known as Generation Y, are often characterized as tech-savvy, socially conscious, and open-minded. They are seen as more diverse and accepting of different cultures and lifestyles. On the negative side, they may be seen as entitled, narcissistic, or lacking a strong work ethic. Generation Z, also known as I-Generation or the Digital Natives, is often characterized as tech-savvy, independent, and globally-minded. They are seen as more diverse, inclusive, and environmentally conscious. On the negative side, they may be seen as less patient, more anxious, and more dependent on technology. Generation Alpha, like Generation Z, is also often characterized as tech-savvy, independent, and globally-minded. They are seen as more diverse, inclusive, and environmentally conscious. On the negative side, they are also seen as less patient, more anxious, and more dependent on technology. It is important to remember that these are perceptions and not accurate for every individual, and it is essential not to stereotype any generation or individual. These perceptions about different different generations can help in our daily lives in a few ways. Understanding the general characteristics and stereotypes associated with different generations can help us communicate and work more effectively with people from different age groups. For example, if you are aware that some members of the baby boomer generation may be less open to new ideas, you may be more careful in presenting new ideas to them. Also, understanding the perceptions of different generations can also help us to be more empathetic and understanding of people who are different from us. For example, if you are aware that some members of the millennial generation may be seen as entitled, you may be more patient and understanding when they express their opinions or make requests. Moreover, understanding the perceptions of different generations can also help in the workplace. It can help managers and leaders to understand how to create an effective and inclusive team by accommodating the culture of the different generations. For example, if you are aware that some members of the Generation X may be more skeptical, you may be more aware of their need for more evidence or data to support decisions. In summary, understanding the perceptions of different generations can help us communicate more effectively, be more empathetic and understanding, and create more inclusive and effective teams in our daily lives.